OK, let's take another live look at Pfizer Forum. Quiet out there, empty now, but in a matter of hours, Deer District will be filled with fans as the Bucks gear up for a big game ahead tonight. Let's check in with our Marissa Wolzen over at Pfizer this morning. And Marissa, the warm weather has been wonderful lately. A lot of people planning what to wear for game day t-shirts, but maybe rain jackets, right? Yes, it kind of depends on where you are. I will say if you're coming down here to Pfizer Forum or the city of Milwaukee or Deer District, you're likely going to be just fine. You won't need the raincoat, but if you do have plans to watch the game, say on your back patio, you're going to roll out that TV and you live farther from the lake, you have a chance to see some showers and thunderstorms right around game time. And we do have a slight chance for some severe thunderstorms in some of our western counties. I'll have more on that in just a bit, but let's take a look at Storm 4 Max satellite and radar. We do have a big storm system spinning through the Midwest uh, centered over North Dakota right now and a cold front that extends south down towards Minneapolis and then over towards Iowa. That is what's going to eventually make its way towards us as we get later into this evening and impact our weather. Now we do have mostly clear skies in place right now. We are going to keep it mostly clear throughout the day today. Some models have pointed out a couple of sprinkles this morning, so we may see one or two, but for the most part, we are going to be dry until we get into this evening. So let's time out your Friday here as we start off this morning, six o'clock not too bad. There comes some clouds around about nine o'clock. That's also when some models are uh, forecasting some sprinkles. So if you get a couple of drops, don't be surprised, but don't be worried about it. It's going to quickly work its way off to the east by the lunch hour. I'd say it's a good day to get out and about, even if it's just for a short bit. It is going to be warm by this point. Temperatures will be into the mid to upper 80s, especially inland. Now, four o'clock, if you're leaving work early or just, you know, leaving work for the work week, we're looking at mostly clear skies. But then as we get closer to five o'clock and six o'clock and 630, this is tip off for the Bucks game. We start to see some showers develop just off to the west, and then as we move throughout the evening, those showers and thunderstorms develop. Now, this is the latest model run, which is actually pushing things even farther back to the west, and it does not bring any of us here in southeast Wisconsin any rain by this point. However, if you live out towards Fond du Lac, Beaver Dam, anywhere through Jefferson County and even a uh, very western Walworth County. Don't be surprised to see some of those thunderstorms uh, pop up through your area. Otherwise, we will have to wait until later tonight. So as we time things a little bit farther as we continue uh, moving in, it looks like we've got some uh, 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 thinking this morning. The computer's thinking, so let's give it a second to get its act together this morning. Doesn't want to move uh, there, but I will say we'll eventually see some of that moisture work its way farther to the east. The question is, will it hold together enough to bring us some rain? Well, there's a small chance for that, and it wouldn't be until about 11 o'clock tonight or midnight. So in total there, we're talking we are going to see some showers and thunderstorms, but it will mainly be off to our west, and that means if you're coming down here to Pfizer Forum, Pfizer Forum or Deer District or in the city of Milwaukee, you are going to be looking at dry conditions for the game. Now, temperatures throughout the day will peak near 82 for those of you in Milwaukee, inland spots mid to upper 80s, and then temperatures will start to cool by tip off at 630, looking at more so temperatures in the upper 70s, and then by the end of the game, low 70s. So I still say that's pretty much t-shirt weather, maybe a light jacket as we get through tonight. But overall, looking at some nice weather, we do have a slight chance for some severe thunderstorms. But again, those storms mainly stay off to our west. I'll show you that risk for some severe thunderstorms and then hopefully have your seven day forecast coming up just a bit. I'll let that computer, you know, get its act together. It's a bit uh, tired on this Friday morning. I'll have more on your forecast coming up just a bit, Andrea. I think we can all relate to that as we shake off the sleep for the last day of the week. Thanks, Marissa.